DJI sues the Pentagon over blacklisting in the United States. The saga continues with DJI. Today we have breaking news over the weekend that DJI has formally filed a petition to sue the Department of Defense in the United States. This lawsuit is represented by Obama's former AG, Loretta Lynch, suing the Pentagon over national security threat designation. Starting back in 2017, the DOD ceased operations of all DJI drones with military and federal agencies. Since 2017, we've seen this story growing. Recently this year, we saw the Countering CCP Drones Act go into effect for the House of Representatives passing this legislation. Recently, it was cut out of the current NDAA Act for 2025, so we're yet to see if it will pass through the Senate and get signed by the President. That doesn't appear likely that that's going to happen. Recently also saw that DJI drones were held up at the U.S. border, affecting the DJI Air 3S orders and other DJI drone orders from the DJI website. We also saw claims by Elise Stefanik stating that DJI was aiding in genocide in Uyghur and guilty of human rights violations. The lawsuit filed in the U.S. by law firm Paul Weiss in Washington, D.C. accuses the Pentagon, including Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, Deputy Secretary for the Industrial Base Policy Laura Taylor Kale are refusing to provide any rationale for DJI's military designation and ignoring repeated requests for dialogue. This national security threat was originally posted by the DOD back in 2022, citing that DJI was a potential threat to national security. And while this was brought up in 2017, it was actually followed up in 2021 to bar government agencies from using DJI products and various states responded by banning DJI in states like Florida for first responder use. In this filed complaint, it says that DJI argues that the DOD failed to provide any substantive evidence supporting the designation and refused to engage with DJI over a 16-month period, despite repeated attempts by the company to clarify the situation. DJI contends, again, that they have no ties to Chinese military and that its products are strictly for consumer and professional use, not military applications. We do have a copy of the official article from Politico.com. We'll put a link in the video description down below if you'd like to see this document for this particular case and complaint with the plaintiff being the U.S. Department of Defense and the defendant's DJI. And DJI has been openly working with U.S. government to try to clarify this over the past couple years. And in their defense, DJI acknowledges that two Chinese state-owned funds have made small investments in the company. It claims that one of these funds in the Shanghai Free Trade Zone Equity Fund holds less than 1% of DJI's shares and almost no voting power. The second fund, the Chaitong Fund, reportedly ended its investment earlier in 2023. DJI asserts that its ownerships remain firmly in the hands of four individuals who collectively control 99% of the company and own 87% of its shares. So currently, DJI is seeking damages for its reputation, loss of revenue, and harassment of some of their employees due to being blacklisted. And as most of you know, DJI holds 90% of the world's consumer drone market share. So the outcome of DJI's reputation, market share, and availability in the United States is under fire. So we will see what happens in the coming months as this lawsuit proceeds in action. We will keep you posted right here on the Drone Camps channel. Thanks again for watching. We have been an original drone channel since 2014, supporting all things drones here in the U.S. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'm Justin Davis. Take care, and I will see you on the next one.